Scoop B Radio. My name is Deshaun Stevenson. You're listening to Scoop B Radio. Scoop B Radio. Everywhere you want to be, sponsored by Game Time App. Make sure when you guys use the Game Time app, you use the code Scoop B. Excuse me, you use the code Scoop. You save ten dollars off your first purchase. And Deshaun, you can use that too. You can get baseball tickets, everything in between. But the reason why we're here is because on Scoop B Radio a couple months ago, we had the rapper Too Short on, and Too Short talked about the time that Jay Z wrote a diss track called "Blow the Whistle." And "Blow the Whistle," that's my Deshaun. We're so big, we ain't got to respond. When you first heard that song. What were you thinking? Uh, I thought it was dope because it's Jay, but uh, it was just caught me off guard because you know I don't rap, so it was just a weird situation. I thought it was clever because I'm from California, Fresno, obviously blow the whistle. So uh, at that moment, I was, it's nothing against Jay, you know. It was just more of LeBron and with the situation that was going on. Of course, you and LeBron have made peace since then. How did this whole beef with you and him get started back then? It was just something I heard in the locker room long situation that got back to me and I, I felt that, you know, that type of player, you shouldn't be talking in the locker room and doing stuff like that. Can you say what happened? Uh, I, don't, I don't like keep going back and gotcha. forth because it's kind of old, but, you know, uh, it was just, to me, it was disrespectful. I feel like it's a brotherhood and I feel like I came straight out of high school, you did too, so we should be uplifting and not trying to hold each other down. I can't lie, this uh, high school, you came out in the early night, early 2000s, yeah. I had your Utah Jazz number nine jersey, <laughs> yeah. authentic. So, too short. Yeah. <clears throat> he said that the reason why Jay actually came out with the song was right. because he was trying to get, he was recruiting LeBron mm. to come to the Nets. Mm. You're a former Net. From your perspective, could you see the marketing uh, idea behind him making a song like that? Oh, for sure. I mean, when you look at LeBron right now, he's, you know, you can't deny he's a hell of a player. So it's kind of like him having his back, and that's why I didn't look at it a certain type of situation. But, you know, from being from Cali, too short, no, we, Cali people, we move different. You know, you can't do those type of things. So, you know, I just took it for what it is. Soldier Boy was part of that whole <laughs> yeah. 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 How the heck, it, it came about because Jay, or excuse me, LeBron said that comparing you two was like comparing Soldier Boy to Jay Z. Yeah. How the heck did Soldier Boy actually insert himself into it? And, and, I mean, it how did you? I mean, it's just another thing. I feel like when people move, you know, nowadays people know what lames and people are. Like when people move, they bring other people into it. It had nothing to do with Jay. It had nothing to do with Soldier Boy. It had to do with me and him. I wasn't the type of person that you know pulled those type of people in. So. You know, that's why I don't like talking about it, because I feel like I will talk about it, I feel like I'm a lame, but it's a lot of stuff that I let go, you know, and it is what it is. We're about peace. How did you and LeBron actually, I mean, you got the I upper did. hand, you got a championship before him. I did not just let it go, you know, I came out publicly, you know, I think it was my last year, I was like, it'd be dope to play with him, but, you know, I just let it go, because at the end of the day, I don't move like that. I don't hate on the next people. I, I, you know, I worry about my family. You know, what you doing, what anybody doing, I just, I just feel like nobody's better. We all got to uplift, you know what I'm saying? Shifting away from LeBron, Jay-Z, yeah. Soldier Boy, you just played in a big, your first big three tournament. Yeah. How was the experience? I think it was dope, man. You can see out there the vibe. I like how we were kind of like in a boxing ring. I grew up playing three on three, one on one. So to be back in that environment, but like with NBA players, I just feel like it's dope. Who has been your, who was your biggest challenge on the court today? I like Bonzi. You know, Bonzi, uh, just physical, he's like me. So, you know, he got it going a little bit, but I, I would say Bonzi Wells. Where do you put yourself now? Where do you need to improve? Uh, I just go out there, you know, I work every day. You know, I turn vegan, I lost a gang of pounds. I run every day, shoot every day. Uh, that's my game out there. You see, I catch, shoot, I run. So uh, just keep doing that and then uh, just, you know, stick it to myself being a leader. Last question. Uh, you, you're familiar with this area. You played with the Venn yes. Jersey Nets. <laughs> I'm cool. Mo Eggers, my homie. Yeah. What do you remember most about playing in this area back then? I mean, I loved it. I loved this, this the city. Uh, obviously, we wasn't winning. And anybody know, if you're in New York, New Jersey, you ain't winning, they, they talking. So you got to take the good with the bad. But if you're winning, they got your back. So I just love this this type of you know atmosphere. And I go out there and play. I, I grew up in that type of atmosphere. I have one more question. You actually played with Brooke Lopez. Yes. He was recently traded for D'Angelo Brooke Russell. Brooke Lopez from Fresno. I'm from Fresno, California. I, I like I played with his older brother on the same AAU. I've been I've been seeing Brooke Lopez when he was like two years old. So yeah, he's from Fresno, California. So to see where he at right now, you know he's a beast. He's been a beast, and uh, you know, you know it is what it is.
funniest Brooke Lopez story that you can share? I uh, remember I was playing with his older brother, you guys, and Chris, playing at an AAU, and him and his brother that plays for Chicago, they got in a fist fight in the stands. Brother and brother, like blows, punching each other. They used to do that like every other like AAU game. So they're, yeah, they're about that life. So even seeing his brother, you know that fight that just happened? Yeah. They've been doing that forever. Like they ready, like 24-7. Million dollar question. <laughs> yeah. You saw them two fight. Who won? Brooke or Robin? It was like Brooke, and then one day it was Robin, and it was Brooke. Like they they were doing that. Who has hands? Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> For real. That's no lie. I didn't take that with it.